All right, boys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can install One Punch Man World on PC. Play it on PC, which is the by far the best way to play. If you're playing on your phone, I am sorry. And also, you wouldn't be watching this video if you were playing on your phone, okay? You definitely want to play on PC. That's why you watch this video. So, there's a lot of things we have to cover, actually, because one is the blue stack settings, and then two, more importantly, there's the in game settings to make it work perfectly fine on blue stacks, okay? So we'll talk about that in a second, but first let's talk about uh, blue stacks in general. If you have blue stacks installed already or you don't, click the link in the description. It will update your blue stacks if you have it already. It'll keep everything, but it'll update it. And if you don't have it, obviously you need it. So use my link in the description. It'll come with, I think, the best settings, but we'll still go over them uh, for blue stacks. And um, it just ensures that you don't have any like weird crashes or bugs happening to you. Because if you do, if you complain in my comments like, ah, this doesn't work for me, this is like lagging and everything. Then I will ask you, do you have the one from my description? And if you say no, then I'll know why that's the issue and I don't want to have to deal with that. So just download it right now. It takes two seconds, literally two seconds. It'll update it. It's just an EXE. You click it, boom, update, done. Easy clap. All right, next, Bluestack settings. I messed around with these quite a bit because I was trying to test some things. And um, you don't need to put frame rate to 120. You can just put it, you can like disable this and then just keep it at 60, which is what I recommend for most people. I was like messing around with 120 and if I if I change it now, I'll have to restart blue stacks, which I don't want to. So I'm just going to keep it at 120. It's fine for me. But for you, I would just recommend keeping it at 60 because if you, um, the more you uncap it, then even if you can't reach those numbers, your PC will try and burn and burn more resources. Uh, like, well, it's weird saying it like that, but I, I'll try and exert more power. Uh, to reach that when it, even if it can and even if it reached your cap it'll try and go overboard if you don't just cap it to like something so honestly i would enable vsync if i was you it will just cap it at 60 for you even if you have a higher hertz monitor and um it will it, it, it will give you the best results probably as for the cpu and memory i would just keep the cpu at 4 honestly because it's it's a 20 it's a game released this year it is on the phone but phone games nowadays very powerful phones nowadays are like like a phone, if I buy both, like if I buy like the next Samsung Galaxy, it's probably more powerful than the laptop I had like five years ago. Okay, I can't lie. So I would just recommend keeping it four cores. Now memory allocation in testing, I haven't seen my BlueStacks go over like 3.5 gigs of RAM, and I was just like really trying to like test it, test it. So I think you you'll be fine with just having it at eight. I wouldn't do four because that's that's you know that's a little cutting it a little too close. You gotta give it a bit of a puffer room. But 8 should be perfectly fine. I put 12 just because I know it's not going to reach it. But just in case something happens and it does need to because I'm running OBS and everything on the side as well. I have it there. But you don't need to, right? The thing is, it doesn't matter. You could put it to 500. It just won't get there anyway, right? This is just allowing it that much just in case, you know, it needs to for like a frame or something. I don't know. Or maybe there's a memory leak in the game, which I mean, at that point, you should restart your game probably. But anyway, let's go to display now. Uh, display doesn't really matter. You can change the bit pixel density to be higher or lower. I have not noticed a difference going from 160 to 320. So I'm just going to keep it at 240 and just keep it safe, right? That's what comes with base. Uh, this resolution doesn't matter because you can just, uh, you can full screen blue stacks if you want, right? You can just go boom. There you go. Now it's a full. Now you, if you play it, it will feel like a proper PC game. Um, now the last one. Oh, actually there's two more. Uh, graphics. Keep it this way. It should come like this. If it doesn't, I tried all the options, all the different combinations. Um, most of them cause black screens or run really poorly. OpenGL with software encoding or auto. Both work perfectly fine. Auto will just like select software to be fair. So I would just keep it on auto to be fair, I guess. But um, just keep these two. Boom, you're done. That's your your set, okay? Um, now, there's one more thing. If you go and try and download it, it might say not available for your device. In which case, you should go to phone. And then change it to one of these like near phones because um, even like even though like blue stacks is not a phone okay but because of the uh, phone profile this is what you this is what Google sees you as when you go to the Google Play Store so if you have a really old model right oh I actually used to have this phone um, W phone W phone very far phone get, get a Google Pixel if you need a good new phone um, it will it will like recognize you as what you put here so just put a higher one so it doesn't like there's no there's not gonna be any issues and there you go. And the way you download it is you either go to the App Center and you type in One Punch Man or you go to the uh, Google Play Store, which is going to be here. Okay, you'll have to log in though. Yeah, keep in mind, uh, for both of these, you'll have to have an account. If you don't have one, it takes doesn't take long to make one. Now, One Punch Man, you, you type it in. It'll be this for you, I think, if you're in the US and this if you're in the rest of the world, I think, or maybe just Europe. Um, I live in Germany, so I can get the US one, right? It will tell me that um, uh, it, I'm not available in my country. If you have a VPN, you can bypass that, but I don't really care. Um, I believe they share servers anyway, so we'll see. Now, now you have downloaded, you'll open the game. I will tell you right now, okay, 
I'll tell you right now, as much as I love boost decks, it will freeze. It will freeze when you try and get the uh, first updates done. It will freeze, but it'll take you like five minutes maybe to get to like the 4% mark, and then it'll just like skip to 100% and you're done. Okay? The download went pretty swimmingly on, uh, for me, but for my friend it crashed once, which he just had to restart it once, and then boom, you're done. Um, and now for that, there's no issues. Okay? So I'm just, be wary, that happens. Now when you get into the game, at the very start it'll ask you to log in. Pick a guest account. Okay, if I start it now, you'll see I already, I already logged in with a guest account. Um, but I also have the FPS counter playing. Now, well, we'll see how, how well it goes when I'm actually running it with, OB, uh, with OBS together. Right? So, uh, let me skip this. There we go. So, I've already logged in as a guest. Okay? So, let's log in again. Boom. Let's start game. All right? Um, now... When we get, uh, after I cover the in-game settings part, this might look really bugged for you, by the way, so we'll, we'll cover this, okay? As soon as you get into the game here, what you want to do, because it doesn't let you do it earlier, what you see, it looks well, it looks good, okay? The game looks good, it runs well. What you want to do first, the very first thing is you want to go to your settings, and on video, you want to change, uh, one, your refresh rate to 60, or 120, okay? If you, if you want to, if you have it like me, right? Which, you know, it, it's going to be a bit more difficult to reach that. Um, especially while recording, but you'll, you'll see. Now, um, these settings don't matter too much. What matters is that you put post-processing on low. If you put on medium high, you'll get these weird, like, I don't even know what to call it. I need, there's no use screen tear, but it's just weird, okay? Uh, I'm not too sure what the issue is with that. If I do have a, a fix for this, or I see some of the comments I have that has a fix for this, I'll pin it, but right now, just keep on low. Everything else on whatever you want, to be fair, it hasn't, ex I don't think it has affected my, uh, like, performance, right? Uh, I'll put everything to medium now, though. Actually, no, because, you know, I, I want to show you guys. Um, uh, but just make sure this is on low, okay? And then resolution, uh, you can try low, right? You could, you could try medium, you could try high. I think medium, honestly, looks the coziest. Like... Like, on, on, I'm not even on, like, high or original, it looks way too sharp for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird because I'm used to, like, my hero's strongest hero when it comes to this type of game. Uh, but, like, on this, it looks really nice, okay? But, again, uh, if you want to, we could just uh, increase it. Now, as you can see, the controls are set up here as well. Now, I'm going to change it back to high just for the video because I want to get a good screenshot. Um, right? And then, also, I'm going to press F11. Boom. Now, I'm full screen, right? Um... Now, you can change your controls to whatever you want, right? Like, I'm, I'm controlling right now with WASD, right? The controls, boom, right? You can hear my keyboard. And then I'm left-clicking right now to punch. Now, this is how I played Strongest here as well, but a, a bunch of people probably just want to put this on, like, a button, right? Uh, which you, you do need to use your mouse still to, like, uh, change your, um, what do you call it? Your your view, right? Your camera. You have to change your camera. Now, let's go back on the full screen. Let's go back here. Um, what you can do is you can change your controls to whatever you want, okay? Which is going to be this keyboard button here. Okay, and then you can also change it to gamepad, right? If you have a gamepad um, plugged in, it'll actually recognize it and you can set up your buttons the way you want to as well. Okay, and you'll have like your left stick here, your right stick like here, just so you can, or, like in the middle, so you can move the camera properly. And then you can set up the buttons to whatever you want. Okay, and I don't have one, so I'm just gonna do PC, right? You can make the opacity zero too, like once you know your controls, you like, you memorize them, you don't have to look at them anymore. You can do this, right? But you can change them to whatever you want, right? You can change any of these to whatever you want. Um, you go to the controls editor, and then, then you move it, right? You do anything you want here, boom. Very lovely feature, okay? Makes this game a lot more playable. Again, that's why I don't think you should play on the phone. But there you go, okay? Now, the way rerolling works in this game is pretty simple. Uh, you read the tutorial, which takes about 20 minutes. I'm not going to do the full thing in this video. But you see the game runs well, by the way. It actually is really fun, too. This game is really fun. Um, yeah, you just run through the whole tutorial here. And then once you've run through the whole tutorial, you'll get um, to the summon system. Now, when you get to the summon system, they'll actually give you... Um, about like three multis worth in the mail, I think. And you want to use those. Now, the, the rates in this game are atrocious, so you'll be here for a while. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. It is, what it is. We, have a, we have a skill now. Boom, there you go. I could press Q by actually like clicking it. I don't know. I did the same as Strongest Hero, where I just clicked all my abilities because I actually really like that. But yeah, you just play. The game runs beautifully, as you can say. I'm on like consistent 60F pretty much, uh, 60 FPS, and that's with me recording. If I'm not recording, I'll be on like 90 to 110 ish from uh, what I tested. Um, very nice, okay? And this game is very fun to play. Again, you'll have to play with the atrocious rates, I'll, have, I'll, I'll tell you right now. But it is very fun, okay? The game is very fun, and there should be everything covered. Oh, yeah, well. Oh, well, there you go. You only have to tap one of these, by the way. There you go. Force already. I oh, know, I'm kind of cracked. I'm kind of cracked. I'm kind of cracked, uh, but this is not going to be a battle tutorial, you know? You wouldn't be able to keep up with me and my, my greatness. But I just want to cover really quickly uh, how you can get everything done. 
Right, actually, I, don't, I haven't seen this one from like far away. Oh, oh my god, no one was uh, no one was uh, in the thing. But yeah, if you dash into a skill, it does different things. Not every character, I think, but um, yeah. Anyway, very cool game. If you want to play it, go ahead, play it. Uh, I might play. I really want to play. I just have so much things right now, so I might like start a little late to this. Um, although I kind of want to cover it too. I want to see what this does when you dash, and then I'm gonna end the video. Okay. Um, there you go. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, okay, he's kind of cooking, all right, damn. We actually took damage too, which is crazy. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is going to be it for me. I'm going to be yoinking these controls, because I actually don't care for these. We can, we don't, I don't need these. Um, but as you can see, game runs great, game feels great, right? Um, and everything, you know, all the, all of the above, okay? Game is very fun, okay? Just do what you want to do, um... You know, I'm, I'm actually just enjoying playing the game right now. That's why I'm not ending the video. I'm going to pause so I can end the video. Anyway, this is it for the game. Uh, go ahead, download it, have fun. Good job. Again, remember my link.